Hi, Hoi. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, first, my name is Hoi. Uh, the full name is Hamun Hoi. Uh, I'm 15 years old and currently I'm studying in a secondary school in this city. And I'm also living with I'm also living with my families. My family has five members: my, my sister, my parents, and my grandparents. Uh, my grandparents include my grandpa and my grandmother. Right, fantastic. So, what I'm going to do now is we are going to begin part one of your speaking test, and you can do your best to answer. So, I've got a few simple questions here for you. How much time do you spend shopping every week? Uh, I usually I don't go shopping, but I rarely, rarely I use it. I rarely I go go shopping because my mom do do that work, mm, and I go shopping is uh, about uh, one per week, and I often go to the clothes store for, for uh, my clothes because my parents don't know what I wear so I have to do my, do myself for my own clothes. Mm, fantastic, right. My next question to you is, do you enjoy going shopping? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, when I go shopping, I enjoy, uh, I enjoy looking at the Looking at the stuff in the in the store, especially in the, in the brand new clothes in in a clothes store, gets look really beautiful and and also fashionable. So I like to go shopping a lot when I have the when I have a chance to go shopping. Fantastic. My next question is, what is your favorite shop and why do you like it? Uh, as I say, as I say in the last questions, I love going to a clothes shop. So my favorite shops is um, is a clothes shop that near my house. Uh, the owner of the shop, uh, uh, I also know him. He is my neighborhood. So so that shop always has a a sale of, a sale off for me and. And the shops is is the clothes shops for the, for the for the age of me, uh, for the teenagers. So so the shop contain a lot of fashionable clothes for for me and for who is for who is the age, the same age as me. Mm, and it also. Uh, and the price in that shop is also reasonable, so I, so I think that it's my favorite shop. Fantastic, Very interesting, right? I get why these things are going to make a lot of noise. There we go. Right, a follow-up question is: What problems are there with shopping in your area? Uh, I think. Yes. Problem in in my shopping areas is uh, bargains. Uh, people bargains a lot to lower the price. Mm -hmm. So so a lot of, of shop owners don't have to don't have the in, the income of the shop owners have decreased. So so a lot of them had has shut the shop down because of that and. Yes, that is all. Great. Uh, my next question is: mm, Do you prefer to shop at a market or in a shopping mall? And can you explain your answer? Uh, I like shopping in a mall. Uh, first, shopping in in a mall. Uh, in a mall, it has. Almost everything uh, I need, every product I and also every product my family need, mm. and it is really really convenient to go there, and it also very com comfortable to go there. Unlike the market, 
they have the market uh, in the market I think only some specific some specific some specific product uh, they have and it's also really hot when in the summer if you go if you go into to the market so that made me feel really uncomfortable. Fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we are going to move on to part two. So for part two, you have one to two minutes to speak freely uh, about a given topic. You have, I think it's about one minute to prepare your answer, and then you may begin. Uh, while you're speaking, if I interrupt you, don't worry. It's just so that we're keeping track of time. Okay, you ready? Okay. So I'm going to read it to you first, and then I will go over it with you for a second time. So what I would like for you to describe is I would like for you to describe a prize. Uh, describe a prize you know about that you would like to win. You should say what the prize is, how you know about this prize, what you would have to do to win it, and explain why you would like to win this prize. So I'll go over it one more time. Describe a prize you know about that you would like to win. You should say what the prize is, how you know about this prize, what you would like what you would have to do to win it, and explain why you would like to win this prize. Okay? I will leave it here so that you may answer. Uh, call 
called your, uh, call your relatives to answer this question for you. Um, and the reason I really I would like to win this prize is because I want to become popular because this show is really popular. If I if I win the prize, I think I would be become popular and it will also make me become become rich. And and finally, I think and it will help help my parent my parents about the money problems. Uh, that's all. Fantastic, thank you very much. What we're going to do now is we're going to continue and move on to part three. Part three is an extension of some of the um, requirements from part two. Okay, so do your best to answer. And remember, we did as much detail as possible. So, my next question for you, and it's going to be more of a discussion. So, what kind of prizes can children win here in Vietnam? Uh, would you repeat the question? Yes, I may. What kind of prizes can children win in Vietnam? Uh, it could be anything uh, except on something that is illegal, like drugs or weapons, like that. Uh, uh, and people, children can also win uh, can also win money, like men, but not from from illegal activities like gambling. Uh, and uh, yes, and also only from gambling because the gambling, only gambling in Vietnam is illegal. Okay. My next question is: What are the benefits and drawbacks of giving children prizes for things they do at school? So break it down into two parts. What are the benefits and drawbacks? Uh, yes. Of giving children prizes for things they do at school. Mm. The benefits I think is what encourages students to study, to study harder and encourage and make, make them be more happy to happy here to go to school. But I think the drawback, uh, the drawback is mm, the drawback is what make them. Uh, if they if they give uh, the prize, if they give the prize too much to the children, I think uh, it would make the student become uh, less. Uh, that it would make the student pay less attention to the school because they think they have have good enough enough to go to school. Fantastic. My next question is: I do agree with you. I I do agree that there are some benefits, but providing too many prizes might not make them feel as special. Right. My next question for you is: What are the what are some differences in the attitude to winning between professionals? And amateur sports. Uh, could you rephrase the question? Sorry, sorry, I didn't hear. Yeah. What are some differences in the attitude to winning between professional? How do you think people who play sports professionally and people who play sports am as an amateur, like maybe not professional, but on their way there, do you think their attitudes between winning are different? Yes, uh, I think the different, I think the different attitudes is, uh, I think amateurs like it could be anyone. So, like a children, if they winning, they could be, uh, they could think they good enough or something, or they could think they good enough and they they would. Uh, Okay, that's good work. Or we can move. We can move to the next question. Um, do you think that there can be risks with being too focused on success? Uh, can you repeat it? 
control. Are there any risks associated with being too focused on success? Mm, yes. Uh, like, such as in extreme sport, if you like focus to practice, then you know, there might be an accident. Then if you focus too much, or uh, if you focus too much, you will work. You will overwork, and this might not good for your health. I think everything like that, uh, such as even you study too much, that was that could not be good for your health because you didn't care about it, care about your health. Like you, know, you don't sleep, good. you don't sleep enough, or you don't eat enough. So that would that would make your health become Mm. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much, Corey. That's the end of your speaking test. Can we go back to class?